Hi, everyone. This is Rich Hannipal, Principal Solution Consultant at DocuSign. Today, I'm going to be covering DocuSign for Dynamics 365, and I'm going to be using a template that I already have saved in the DocuSign environment. I'm going to start by uploading an agreement into the D365 case entity using the notes feature. Next, I'm going to send that agreement to several recipients. One is going to sign via electronic signature. The other is going to sign via PIV CAC. So I'll be capturing the PIV and CAC or common access card signatures from the recipient. Then the final agreements will end up in Dynamics 365 with what we call the Certificate of Completion or Signing Receipt, all residing within the Dynamics 365 environment. So let's take a look at how that is accomplished. So notice I'm already logged into a Dynamics 365 environment, and I'm actually on a case record. The first thing I'm going to do is upload my MOU or Memorandum of Understanding. I think I should give it a note, MOU. And actually hit the attach to upload my MOU document. And add the note. Once that's added, I go up to the menu here and I'm going to send it with DocuSign and get signatures. So immediately it's going to go find any kind of documents I have in the note feature, continue. And then I can add my recipient. So I'm going to search my contacts. I'm going to first, it's going to go to Rachel. And then I want it to go to Richard Hannibal. I'm going to add. So you can see my recipients are here. Looks great. And I'm going to open DocuSign. So now it's going to create a DocuSign envelope. The first thing it's going to do, it's going to realize I already have a template signed or saved in DocuSign. So it should do what we call a, uh, a matching. So it's going to basically match, select matching templates. So it found a memorandum of understanding, a blank template, and I'm going to apply that template. So notice I carried over my recipients, Rachel and Richard. Rachel's going to be an electronic signature. That's great. I can even set a signing order if I wanted to. And the second signature, I want to customize and select a signature type. And this one is going to be a PIV test or PIV or CAC signature. I'm going to hit Next. And this is where I can drag and drop any kind of fields I want to fill out the uh, memorandum of understanding. My quick example here, I'm just going to put in the signature lines. I'm going to start with Rachel. So notice she's already selected up here. I'm going to drag and drop in her signature. I'll put in a date signed and her name. I'm going to do the same for the next recipient, and that's Richard. Signature, date signed, and name. and hit send. So that's it. I can close the window, and I'm right back in my dynamic session right here. So now I'm going to talk a little bit to Rachel. And you can already see I got the email to review inside the document. I click Review Document. Hit Continue. I can go through to each of the page to read the memorandum of understanding, but at the end here, you can notice I've got the date, I got the printed name and the signature, which is electronic. Capture that, finish, it's really that easy. Now, of course, I'm gonna go over to the next recipient, Richard Hannipal. I'm gonna click on my inbox and there we go, I have another uh, please review and sign the document. This is the second signer. I'm going to continue. Again, I can review the MOU. I'm going to also notice that Rachel's already signed. She was the first signer. And now I'm going to sign with my PIV and CAC card here. I'm going to approve the document, hit sign. There's a couple things it needs to do. It's going to go ahead and read my PIV card that's inserted into my device.
It's going to find and locate the certificate. I'm going to put in my PIN. Hit Next. Now it's going to finish up the digital signature process and place my signature, my digital signature um, on the signature line with the date and full name. And I'm going to hit Continue. So really, it's that simple. And if I look at my email, I should get a completion email with both the MOU that's fully executed. So you can see there's Rachel. There's the digital certificate. Notice the signature is a little bit different. The digital certificate having more information. And here's that signing receipt where I have, it says I have two signatures. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Two signatures. One is Rachel and has the IP address, date, timestamps, et cetera. She authenticated using her email account. And the PIV CAC signature, which you can see here, the signature was captured via PIV test. This is the digital certificate, test RSA, 2048-bit signing authority here, and with IP and date timestamps for the digital certificate signature. If I toggle back now to Dynamics, and wait a few moments, I should get the final, so I think I can refresh, refresh, refresh the record. And notice I get in the same notes, the review sign, your document signature here, this is the final executed MOU and it's saved nicely back in the notes field with the digital certificate already here, electronic and digital. And of course the certificate of completion with the two signatures like I just showed you that each party gets an email of the completed um, mm -hmm. transaction. I can download it if I want it right here, I'm just gonna close it. But you can see that it stores it right back into the Dynamics record. And of course, I even have access, if I needed more information, um, the, let's see, the DocuSign transactions here that capture every single transaction. And here you can see, um, here's the envelope ID and it's completed and date timestamps according. So there you go. That is how we do it. We completed this entire path. Thank you for listening. If you have any further questions, please let us know. Appreciate it.